Hi there and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer with another book review. In this video we're discussing Murder at the Book Festival written by Jane Bettany. It's a cosy mystery. It's book two in the Violet Brewster Mysteries series. I like this book. I reviewed the first book in this series for my channel. This book is an improvement on that book. The main improvement is the dialogue. The dialogue is more free-flowing, feels more natural. In book one it was a bit stilted. The characters and the setting is still well done in this story. The mystery is still strong. It's actually very strong in this book. Keeps you guessing very much. It's quite complex. There's more than one mystery, but in this video I'll only describe bits of one mystery, not the second mystery. You have to read the book to find out what the second mystery is. But I enjoyed this book a lot and I think lovers of cozy mysteries and lovers of mysteries in general will also like this book. This book is set in a village called Merrywell. It's a small village setting and I like mysteries set in that type of setting. Now in this village there's going to be a book festival and you know that from the title Murder at the Book Festival. It's the first book festival for the village. There's a key author coming. This key author is going to be there for a few key events. And the author was a local, grew up in the area, hasn't been there for about 18 years or so. And this key author writes romance novels, more romance than anything else. Most people don't care. Most people think she's a big author. Why not have her at the festival? But one person called Judith, and Judith is the head of the village council. She's not happy. She thinks this romance author called Leone, she thinks Leone is not, you know, literary enough for a book festival to be a key author. But anyway, most people in the village are happy with it. That's going to go ahead. This author called Leone is going to be the key author at, and a key attraction at the book festival. When we first meet Leone, who's a key author in this book festival, we don't get a great impression of her. She's late to events. Doesn't listen to advice from her PR expert. A lot of things with her are off the cuff makes up her own rules it seems. So it seems like she's got a bit of an ego problem maybe, we're not sure at the start of this book, but not a great impression at the start from this character. But then something shocking happens. So what happens is she's turning up late to an event again. And people think, oh she's just running late again, give her a few minutes, but then time ticks on more and more. So Violet, and Violet is our main character in this story, Violet being the protagonist and person who gets involved in the mysteries, she decides to help out and see if she can track down Leone. She gets to the hotel, but then she finds something that's quite shocking. She finds Leone's car in the car park, and then there's a body in front of the car, in the car park, with a knife in her back. She thinks straight away it's the author. She does find out it's not, so that's not really a spoiler. You do find that early on in the book. And the mystery is, who is the person? And we find that it's Leone's sister. And Leone's sister still lives in the area. So the real mystery is, who killed Leone's sister and why? Violet gets involved. The police, of course, don't want her to be involved, but she gets involved and starts asking around, poking around, trying to find out the truth. And that's where I'll leave that mystery because it's a fairly good mystery, quite strong. That whole twist and turn right at the start about thinking it's the author at the start, Leone, and finding out it's her sister. That's a great twist in this story. There's more twists to come as the book develops. There's a second mystery as well in this story. I won't give that away. It becomes more apparent towards the end of the story. But it's a great mystery. I enjoyed both mysteries a lot. They're very strong. And the characters involved in those mysteries are very strong as well. So being a cosy mystery, we have to have cosy elements. They're very well done. One main cosy element is Violet's ex-husband, Paul, comes to visit unannounced in the village. He says he's there for the book festival, but he appears at Violet's door and says he wants to stay there for two nights. Violet's not so sure, tells him to go away, but he convinces her to stay. So Violet lets her ex-husband, Paul, stay at her house. And this adds a bit of tension, I think, in the book, because Violet and Matthew, Matthew is a character in the village, at the start of book one, they became friends. And they're closer friends now in this book. And you kind of wonder, will they become more than friends? But with her ex-husband staying for a couple of nights in the village, that tends to sour that relationship a little bit, that friendship. So you wonder what's going on. That's interesting in this story, that cosy element coming to life in the book. I like that the author's bringing more cosy elements into this story as well. I won't tell you what happens with the whole Paul, Violet and Matthew thing. You have to read to find out. But it's interesting in the book. 
I like the way it just adds a bit more tension maybe in the cozy elements as well in the story. Adds a bit of life into the village life as well. This is a village where things get around, work gets around very quickly. So all the characters in the village already know that Paul, or ex-husband, is staying at her house. They know very quickly. So I like all those elements in this story. There are other cozy elements playing out in the story as well, just friendships, interactions, that sort of thing. We have characters that sometimes are a bit annoying, characters that get other people upset. That all plays out in this story as well. So it's all part and parcel of a normal cozy mystery in a small village. But it's very well done in this book because characters are so convincing. The mystery is so well done. I've said it a few times in this video, but it's very well done. I like the mystery, it's complex, keeps you guessing, it just seems very well thought out and well planned. I enjoy the setting in this story a lot. I enjoy the setting in book one as well, a setting so well described and so strong. You do feel transported to this small village setting in this book. And of course the characters are well written, all convincing, you know, recurring characters, new characters, they're all well written in this book. Matthew is as a poor character in this story. He lives in the village. He's a friend of Violet's early on in book one and in this book as well. And you wonder about them, will they become more than friends? But sometimes I think he seems too good to be true. And I wonder how that will play out in this series. I enjoy him as a character though. He's full of life. I like their interactions. He seems comfortable as a character as well. And he seems to suit that small village setting very well. Leone is the key author in this book, that key attraction to the book festival. I like her in the story. At the start, I wasn't too sure about her. We get a full of life character, larger than life character at the start. But then we get to know more about her as the book develops. And we see a more complex character, a more well-rounded character. So I like her later on in the story, more than I liked her from the beginning. But a good character, she has a lot of surprises in the story. She surprises the reader as well, surprises me with how she reacts to things and how she interacts with people as the book develops. So I like the way this character is constructed. Very well-rounded and complex. I like how we get to know more things about her as the book develops as well. Paul, the ex-husband of Violet. Interesting to bring him into the village in book two. I wondered if that would ever happen because in book one, Violet was calling Paul from time to time to get his insight into the mystery in book one. So I wondered if that meant that Paul would appear in the village in further books in this series, and he has in this book. He's interesting. I won't go into the detail of what happens between Paul and Violet in this story. But when he arrives in the village, he seems so sure of himself. He has a plan. He wants to carry out that plan no matter what. I won't tell you what that plan is, but it's interesting. It seems to add tension, seems to add some interest into that cozy side of this story. I really enjoyed this read. This book is better than book one, it just seems stronger, and the main difference is the dialogue with the characters. That dialogue just flows more freely in this story, not as stilted. The mystery is still strong, the setting is still strong, the characters themselves are still strong. That dialogue makes all the difference. I rate this a 4 out of 5. I'm looking forward to more books in this series. I'm hoping there's many more. A great protagonist, a great setting, great mysteries, great characters. Everything plays out so well in this story. On my channel, I review many cozy mysteries. If you enjoy cozy mysteries, check out my channel and subscribe. On the screen now is a link to a video for another book I'm sure you'll enjoy.